some time in, uh, in Salt Lake City over the last few days, and, and uh, I've been meeting with some really incredible people. And I started reading, you guys know I a lot of times share information based on what I listen to, the things I read. For those of you that, that have the desire to do something real powerful with your life, I can tell you what I've been reading very recently really has affected me a tremendous amount. I actually am reading this book right now called The DNA of Success by Jack Zufault. If any of you are uh, into that whole perspective of leadership and really that getting that drive to run your business, I'm telling you, this book is very worth picking up. I was pleasantly surprised to see so much stuff in it that was a little bit, I would say, more core or focused on actually being productive and doing something that really matters in your life. So I've brought some of those concepts to this morning mindset. Again, I'm just reading a lot of it, so I'm not 1,000% all of it, but this is what it means to me. This is what I've picked up so far that I think is highly valuable, and I think you're going to find this to be very valuable, too, for whatever it is that you're planning to do, of course, what's the mindset for, for this Monday. Again, the idea behind getting on these calls every day is to get a good bearing to get your balance, your center, and do something for the day that really counts, really matters, and really is something that you can look back at the end of the day and say, you know what, today I really got out there and make something happen. So get a pen, get a notebook. If you can, write down a few ideas from the things that we talk about today, and let's take that into the rest of our day and really have a powerful day today. So just check on my audio again. Yeah, it looks like I'm good. So your core desires are not goals. So I, uh, I'm a big goal setting guy. You guys know that. And I probably always will be to some degree, but this book, this perspective really affected me because, you know, I follow a lot of this because of the things that I've got to do on a daily basis anyway, but your core desires are not goals. Okay, so I'm going to do my best to explain to you from my perspective what these things are for me. For example, I want to have better relationships with my children. That's a core desire of mine. And in that, I've got all of these different perspective goals around that idea. Right? Like, for example, I'm going to, since I don't have my daughters living with me, my son does, I'm going to write them a letter. Right? At least once a week, I'm going to pick one of my daughters and write them a letter. And that's a goal of mine that I'm actually going through process of doing. And that's one thing that I'm hoping to help keep closer to them because I get them, you know, I get them often enough. I see them on, on, a, on a few different weekends a, a month and during the summer for several weeks. But I'm trying to figure out how to make things better and, and, and bring me closer to them. So that's one of my biggest core desires is to be close to my children, right? Well, if you think about it, that goal isn't just based on writing down something that I can do to make that better. That goes into everything that happens when I process this relationship that I have with my children, right? If I'm on the phone with them, it's not about a goal I wrote down. It's about me feeling that core desire even when I'm speaking with my children and working even in every moment at every second that I have the opportunity at building that closeness and building that trust with my children, finding out more about them, more about their personalities, what drives them, right? Like, for example, my daughter Scarlett, Beautiful, beautiful young lady. Super obsessed with this battle cat type of books that she reads. Some of you may know which ones they are. She's got like a whole tremendous number of them. She, she makes YouTube videos about them. And I always get on and like those YouTube videos and participate with her a little bit. But she really loves that stuff. So in my perspective, it's like I write down this goal. I'm going to write my daughter a letter. So, yeah, I could, I could write her a letter, talk about the things that I know she's into, sure that I'm – I'm close to her, and, you know, do, do some fun stuff with that. But even when I'm on the phone with her directly, right, if my core desire is to be closer to her, then that is something I should be doing in every minute of the conversation that I'm having with her, is trying to work into being as connected as I possibly can, okay? And then here's the reality. I'm using my daughter as an example to kind of give you an idea of how powerful these core desires are within us. Now, when I was, I'm reading this, this book, again, I'm not finished with it. I am, uh, I am, you know, over halfway at this point. But I can tell you that I'm really, really connecting with this philosophy, and I'm hoping this is something that's going to help you guys out of 
sponge because it really helps align so much of your effort, right? Because if our effort is aligned and we can take massive action on the things that we're trying to accomplish and we're unified in the way we see the world and the way we are participating with others around us, well, we're going to do something special with our lives, won't we? So let's talk more about it. Your core desires are not goals. Let's see here. So write down the things that you really want to have and be and create with your life. These are things you hold close to your heart. When you focus on these, you will move with incredible action. So in the book, it talks about different ways of kind of breaking down the perspective to, re to realize what your core desires are. A, a, a series of questions because it can be difficult for people to realize exactly what they are. Right? For example, I want to be financially free. I want to have, I want to have the freedom to move around, have enough money at all times so I don't have to worry about money. Well, why? You know, when you think about the things that you have, these goals that you have, bring in that big W-H-Y question mark into all of them. And by doing that, in general, you're able to start kind of breaking down to what those core desires actually might be. Because let me tell you something. One powerful thing I'm doing this week, and I'll share with you the progress I'm making with it, is I want to know exactly what my core desires are. Okay, because that is what really drives you. One of the things that, that he mentions in the book is for a core desire, you don't even have to write it down. It's not even a goal because you want it or you're already pursuing it to where it's not something that you would forget about. He actually talks in the book about how when he was uh, younger, he was abused as uh, um, um, going to school and he uh, lived on an Indian reservation, actually. And he was the only uh, kid there that was Caucasian. And they picked on him and he got beat up a lot. Well, he didn't want to beat, beat up anymore and actually went and got an opportunity to actually learn karate. When the, he was uh, there, I do believe, for eight years as an instructor, I do believe, at the, at the end of that. And during that time, he didn't have to write down on a piece of paper, well, I want to learn karate. Okay, He went into a fever every single chance he had to learn more and more and more and more and more because it was a core desire of his to be able to defend himself and not to have that reaction, that fear to others that may be aggressive towards him. Okay, It was a core desire. He didn't even have to write it down. He wanted to be able to defend himself, and he became a black belt. Okay, So what are your core desires? Which ones are you already doing? Okay, Which ones are, are, are already really important to your life now? What, 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 what are you doing? I know Bonnie Gums, a good friend of mine, is actually on, uh, on this uh, morning mindset. I know yoga for her is a core desire. I've known her for years. And I can tell you she practices consistently, constantly, daily. Okay, She doesn't have to take a piece of paper out and write down one of her goals is to practice yoga. That's just something she does. right? When you have a core desire, you move towards it. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're moving towards those core desires. You've got to figure out what they are. And again, to kind of give you guys a little bit more idea of what that looks like, okay? one of my biggest core desires is to be as close to my wife as I possibly can. Okay, so what are all the things around developing that core desire? I need to make more time. Okay, so I want to be financially independent so I can make more time to spend with my wife and with my children. Right, but the core desire is spending more time with my wife and my children. So even though financial independence is important to that, even right now, I should be spending as much of the time as I do have in as quality of an experience as possible because I'm pursuing my core desires by doing that. I have evenings with my wife. I have opportunities on the weekends to spend some real good time with her and to be close to her. Right? So that's a core desire of mine. The core desires that you have aren't in the future. Right? You're moving towards these things, and they can be amplified. You can work and actually move forward with massive action once you know exactly what they are. Okay, so again, I'm still learning through this process, but I thought this was just highly valuable, right? Write down the things that you really want to have be and create in your life. And don't do this like goals. Think about the things that you really want, okay? What you really want. Do you want financial independence? Well, yes. Well, why? Why do you want financial independence? Well, I want more time with the people I care about. I want to see the world. Okay, so you put that aside, and instead of saying, I want to be financially independent, you can say, I want to see the world. Okay, think about how much more that drives you when you make that statement, if that's true, because that's true for me. 
There's a lot of places in this world I want to visit. I'm fascinated by archaeology. You know, I'm fascinated by the, by the potential that I have to actually see things that are culturally thousands of years old. Cambodia and seeing the temples there is one of my goals. Seeing the Mayan pyramids. Going down and seeing Machu Picchu in Peru. Okay, those are things because I'm fascinated with archaeology. Now I want to, I want to be able to see the world and travel. Okay, so I can say that I want to be financially independent, but now that just becomes a step, a part of my strategy, all right, in order to realize my core desires. Because there's part of, parts of my core desires I can realize now. I can put up all kinds of information about these places I want to visit. I can study them directly. I can look into their history. I can build momentum behind those core desires, even though they're not necessarily completely and totally realized, because they're things that you move towards naturally, and you can take action on them now. Okay, so that's one of the biggest challenges is figuring out what they are. What exactly are your core desires? And again, I'm, I'm, I'm a spring chicken. <laughs> I'm just going through this process, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So it's something to really you know, look at as a potential, a strong move for you to make. And we'll, we'll take this journey together just a little bit. So when you focus on those, you will move with incredible action. Okay. Um, Jack talks, talks about it as a conquering force. Right? When you move towards things that are your core desires, you get this energy that is absolutely incredible. Okay? It becomes a core desire for you when you fully realize that it is something with your heart that you really want, that you really want in your life, period, that you're not settling. Right? These are the things that you really want in your life, that you want to do, that you want to, you want to be. Okay? Here's another one for me, and this one was kind of fun. I read a ton of books. Okay, and it's because one of my core desires, all right, is to be educationally sound. That's a core desire of mine, is to have a good understanding of a variety of subjects. Okay, it's not even about how many books I'm going to read or what my goals are, what times. Like, I do have certain times a day I read because I'm a very busy person and I keep very organized. But one of my core desires is to be intellectually sound, to have a good perspective on a large number of subjects because for me that's important that's a core desire of mine and I never wrote that down that was one of was funny because I didn't I, I I did the the Brian Tracy write a hundred goals down at the beginning of this year and I still think that's valuable I review them but the reality is there's nothing I had to write down ever about wanting to be intellectually sound and have it have a have a high level of academic knowledge and ability Okay, I'm a huge believer that the more knowledge you have, the more capable you are. Okay, the more 